G'day guys, it's Tom here with MYT Solar. Pretty excited about this build today. This is a 19 MKS, the Murphy bed floor plan on these outdoors RVs. I'm excited to show you what we did with this install. As you can see on this 19 floor plan, it's really awesome space in here, but it's got this Murphy bed. We, can't, we couldn't do our normal install under the bed. We still wanted to make sure we brought those lithium batteries inside the living space for temperature reasons. We made use of one side of the dinette and I'll show you that. Originally we were planned to put the 330 amp hour Victron batteries in here. Those are a 12 volt battery. Ultimately this height under here just wasn't enough. So we switched this thing to a 24 volt system to make use of Victron's awesome 24 volt batteries. There'll be some other little advantages to having a 24 volt system. Smaller cable size, a little less weight, more efficient, things will run a little cooler. But mostly we just wanted to make sure that we got the best batteries to fit the space. You can see here we've got two of the Victron 24 volt batteries. Now these are 200 amp hours each at 24 volts. So the 12 volt equivalent of these batteries is going to be 800 amp hours. You, you can see how that's a lot of battery in a small trailer and in a small space. About 800 amp hours, 12 volt equivalent is a lot of battery. That's, you know, close to three of those 330 amp hour 12 volts that we've been using recently. We were able to get all this in here. It took a bit of figuring out. Things had to go in and out quite a few times to work out the order to put things in. But we've maintained our clearances for the Multi Plus. We've got plenty of venting, intake and exit for the air. We have the full Victron system. So smart BMS, Victron charge controller, the servo, all of the good stuff. Again, it's a 24 volt system. We did have to put the 24 to 12 volt Orion converter in here. So that's to give the coach the 12 volt power that it needs for the slides, the levelers, the lights, everything that's a 12 volt appliance can't run directly from these batteries. We put a 24 volt to 12 volt converter in here so that everything runs freely from this high voltage system. Again, 3000 watt inverter charger, plenty of power to run the air conditioner, run the microwave, pretty much everything in the RV. The customer has 600 watts of factory solar. We always try to keep our customers along with the project with us, even though these customers are currently in Canada. I called them up when I started on this 19 MKS and I said, look, we can either switch it to a 24 volt battery or we can take up some of your pass through storage, which unfortunately would have impeded quite a bit of the pass through. We went with the 24 volt battery system Again, it was just a phone call and, and to be honest, I said, look, it's not going to be our regular install where we have LEDs and plexi and it's going to be on display because part of this bed coming down, there's a lot of framing here for this dinette and there's a foldable base that the, that the bed sits on. So all of this will be covered up and you won't get to see our beautiful work. But the real impressive thing for me with this install was fitting absolutely every part of the install in this small dinette. And on this side of the rig, the drawer that fit in here, you can kind of see it right here. It was only a very small drawer. So there was a lot of space in here that I was able to access. And to fit that much power in here is pretty awesome. And the customer said, that's going to be great. You know, I don't, I don't need to stare at it all the time, but I, I'm excited to have all that kind of power. The Touch 70 we were able to mount right here in the hallway, which is a great spot for it. It was a bit of a mission to put it in this location, but we're happy with how it worked out. All the information, the solar, the battery, the inverter, what the inverter is doing, all that information is going to be right here. We put a soft start in their air conditioner so they could run the air conditioner for a few hours to cool the rig down. The custom has 600 watts of factory solar. We actually had to rewire that solar to be in series because those are about a 20 volt panel. And so the way that Outdoors RV wires them is in parallel. So the overall array was going to be still at 20 volts in parallel and because our bank now is a 24 volt bank that panel voltage was never going to be enough to charge these batteries you always need about five volts higher on the panel array than the battery bank i got up there and i rewired the, the panels in series now we have about 60 volts coming down which is enough pressure to push the push that current into those batteries and charge those batteries efficiently this was the smallest outdoors rv trail we've ever done it's a great floor plan and the way that the bed saving space is there, for how long this trailer is, there's really a lot of livable space in here. Plus, we were able to get this massive power system in this rig. Again, with the 600 watts of factory solar, that's always going to be the probably the weakest part of the system. 600 watts is great for running the 12 volt items, but once you step up to this inverter and you're able to run the air conditioner, and you're able to run the microwave and the coffee pot and those really big appliances, 
I have a feeling this customer will be probably longing for more solar. And that's okay. You can come back later on and change the solar. We can do that with all our builds. The main thing is that the Victron infrastructure is here. But honestly, on a 19 MKS with our rail system, we're going to be putting, I think, 1500 watts on a MK, uh, 19 MKS here in the next few weeks. To go from 600 watts to 1500 watts may mean that that customer may want to take a trip down to Bend from Canada. But really happy with this install. Uh, again, it's really small, tight space, but everything has the breathing room it needs. And it's a lot of power for these guys. These guys are upgrading from a tent. So they're going to be pretty stoked to have this Victron system in it. Thanks for watching this video. Again, this is Tom with MYT Solar. 19 MKS here from Outdoors RV. 400 amp hours at 24 volts, 800 amp hours of lithium juice at 12 volt equivalent. You've got the 600 watts of factory solar that's upgradable later, the 3000 watt inverter, all the Victron system, a nice small rig that is ready for adventure. Thanks for watching. This is Tom with MYT Solar. Cheers.